As COVID-19, or better known as coronavirus, affects the entire world, South Africa has not been spared, with more patients testing positive. Eyewitness News sat down with Netcare Group CEO Richard Friedland to get an understanding of what the private sector is doing to make sure this virus doesn't spread any further. Well, we've been getting ready ever since the Ebola outbreak in 2014, where we realized we needed to put certain measures in place. And that includes firstly training all of our staff in infection control and also in the early recognition and surveillance of anyone who might be at risk. We're screening people before they come into our hospitals, checking whether they've been to any of these COVID or coronavirus infected areas, and in particular, if they're showing any symptoms. And we're doing that on a daily basis for absolutely everyone. And that you apply proper hand hygiene because proper hand hygiene is probably the most important thing uh, you can do. We've screened probably over two and a half thousand uh, patients coming into our emergency department since the middle of January. Uh, we've done tests or we've referred approximately 100 to the NICD. We've done tests on just over 40 uh, of um, these patients. And to date, as of last night, they were all negative. Infections are going to come and go. And we've got superbugs uh, infecting the world. We've got other viruses. and. COVID-19 isn't the first and isn't going to be the last. And so to that end, we've invested very heavily in robotic technology. Originally came from Russia, has now been produced in the United States. This is pulsed high dose ultraviolet light technology. And we're able to disinfect a room completely between five to 10 minutes. And it's very, very effective. The old technique was using hydrogen peroxide. We would call it defogging a room. But because that's a toxic chemical, it could take several hours and then we had to clear the room of all the fumes. And that could take up to eight hours in a ward. It kills all viruses, all bacteria and all fungi. And uh, so it's taken around the hospital on that basis, obviously because it's a very high strength of ultraviolet pulse light. You can't be in the room during the period of the zapping, but you can be in the room immediately thereafter because there are no chemicals used in this process. So our recommendation broadly is that one should avoid all unnecessary travel. We've stopped all travel certainly overseas for our group and we believe that no one should be traveling to a area that where there's been a community outbreak of COVID-19 for two reasons. One is you, you, you stand you putting yourself at risk but also equally when you come back and you may or may not be well, it's incumbent on you to isolate yourself for up to 14 days. And we don't think that at this time uh, one should expose oneself to that risk. And as South Africans, this is a, a tumamina moment. We all need to stand together and work together to prevent spread into our more vulnerable communities, into our more densely populated communities, and rid South Africa uh, of coronavirus. We don't need to panic about it, but we mustn't be lackadaisical. We should take every precaution available to us. You put enough, cup your palm, put enough in your hand and always put your fingers in there, turn it around. So you clean underneath your nails, pour it into the other hand, turn it around, clean your nails, clean between your hands, back of your hands, thumb, back of your hands and again your wrists as well. And in this case I'm cleaning much higher because we're about to go into a protected area. Okay, and do that for at least 20 seconds or for as long as it takes you to sing happy birthday to you twice. Soap and water is, can, is a very effective detergent and particularly for surfaces. If you are able to afford one with an alcohol, um, alcohol in it up to 60 to 70 percent, that would be ideal. But in the absence of that, washing one's hands thoroughly with soap and water is equally effective. Oh, a shout out to our Minister of Health. He's leading from the front. He's showing enormous stewardship in dealing with what could potentially be something very serious for our country. We're learning as we go along and we're all cooperating together. And so there is a weekly coordination meeting between uh, government, the NICD, the Department of Health and the private sector and uh, we're doing all in our power to ensure that we can limit the spread of this virus in South Africa.
if there's a need, will private sector be jumping in, taking other patients? Of course. We stand ready, as I said it before, you know, it's a great honour and privilege to be able to look after patients. With that comes an enormous responsibility and it's at a time like this we've got to put self-interests aside and make sure that we're playing our part as the private sector and to the extent that we need to be treating patients, of course the private sector will step up to the fore. For more, go to ewn.co.za.